What's up guys, it's Mike with Shallow Reefing coming back at you with another video. I have been asked dozens of times, what do I love about the tank? What do I hate about the tank? So in this video, I'm gonna give you eight things. Yes, eight, I was gonna do five things I love and five things I hate, but I found out there's way more things that I love about this tank than I hate. So we're gonna do eight loves and five dislikes about this 200 gallon Innovative Marine EXT Nouveau tank. It is amazing. So let's get into it. So this list is kind of in an order, but kind of not in an order. Um, going from one of the things I love to the absolute number one thing I love about the tank. So we'll start off with one of the things I do love at number eight would be the flexibility of the tank. This tank, I know a lot of different tanks like Red Sea have um, you know, a fixed sump, but one of the things I do like about this tank is it doesn't come with a sump, which some people might say, oh, that's horrible. But for me, I really like the flexibility and I could do much more with the tank and my layout because of the sump not being there and I could do whatever I wanted at the bottom. Another thing I love about the tank is the seams. Now, I don't know if you can tell from this angle, but the seams are really thick and I enjoy them simply because I'm not worried about them ever breaking. Now, I have kind of hit them a couple times right here and they aren't the greatest, but they are very thick seams and it really makes me feel good at night knowing that this tank is definitely overbuilt. So the seams would go under the build quality of the tank. I will put one caveat to this tank for this next one. I really like the price of it. What you got at the time was a really smoking deal. Now, I do remember having to spend $3,600 on this tank, and I believe that was at like 10% off. Um, then they eventually did a 15% off, and then I they did it like four days after I bought the tank, so I complained to them. They said, hey, we'll give you a uh, free ATO with that for 200 bucks or whatever. I was like, okay, cool, no big deal. Um, actually, no, it wasn't the ATO. It was, they gave me $200 in credit and I bought some stuff with it. So that was pretty nice of them to do. I really appreciate it. So um, at the time, you know, pretty reasonably priced. However, nowadays, if you look at it, now the price is $5,059. Holy cow. And that is not when it's on sale. They have it on sale right now for $4,300 at a 15% discount. But this came with the tank and the stand, which I was really looking for and I was really excited to get the tank and the stand. I also love the overflow for number five. The overflow is completely flush in the back, which means I have no you know, no overflow in the tank, which gives me so much more room and I can kind of mount some corals back there. But overall, I just love having it on the outside. It's so much easier to work with. And because the overflow is on the outside, all the drain pipes run on the outside and down over this way, which means I don't have like tons of scrunched up room right in this area. It's kind of in the back. It's away from the wall. So I'm not getting all the splashing and it just gives me you know, just a little bit more room to do things in the tank. As you can kind of see, once you get a tank, you kind of add on to stuff and that's exactly what I've been doing. Speaking of the stand, I really do like this Nuvo APS stand. I love how you have access on this side. Of course, I don't anymore because I put a tank here and you have three access panels here and one on this side. But of course, I can't get it all the way because I have my quarantine tank and a bunch of baby crap there, but it's turned into my DIY board that I was able to put here. Because the stand has so many access points, you can do so much with it, which goes back to the flexibility. I do like how it's kind of like a push with magnets here. We can kind of just push it in and it locks. It's great. My son hasn't really figured it out yet because I haven't shown him, but I'm sure he'll figure it out. Especially this part here. There's actually like an uh, expanded PVC foam board that goes on top of it, kind of helps with any imperfections. And then you also have a little um, foam piece that's attached to the tank that helps with any imperfections as well. So you just have multiple ways to um, absorb any imperfections so your tank is not gonna crack, which is a really smart idea. I'm also a big fan of the net. I was really glad to see that this tank came with a net because I was not wanting to DIY anything to put up here. Um, with the net, it's pretty good. I mean, I'm glad they didn't add a brace in the middle because it doesn't really need it. 
Um, but I was just really thinking, you know, an extra um, measure to prevent any fish from jumping because once you have a jumper, you never want to lose another fish again. And this just goes a long way into making sure that the fish aren't jumping. Honestly, this next reason is probably one of the main reasons why I got it, the Euro Brace. So this Euro Brace really makes this tank like a, built like a tank, honestly. I love how it adds that extra support on the top. And as you can see, I put all the crap up here so that my son doesn't touch anything. Yes, I even have stuff up here. Just have to keep it out of the kid's reach. But this Euro Brace is really nice. I don't know why more tank manufacturers don't do Euro Bracing because I put stuff up here all the time. Yes, it does get a little bit salty and I gotta wipe it down, but um, I love this Euro Brace. It just gives you so many more options. Yes, you could run the tank without the lid on and the Euro Brace would stop most of the fish because a lot of fish, they'll just get scared, run, hit the side and go up the wall. But with the Euro Brace here, it's protecting you. Um, I'd still recommend keeping the net on. And this whole combo together really does do a good job at keeping the fish in. And the number one reason to buy this aquarium, and one of the reasons why I love it, is the dimensions. Look at those dimensions. Beautiful. 30 inches front to back. 70.9 inches long. And 21.75 inches tall. I love it. Honestly, like the best time is just kind of sitting back down in the chair like this turn around and looking at the tank. It is just a wonderful view. You know, this channel is called Shallow Reefing and it wouldn't be shallow reefing if I didn't have a long, wide, and shallow tank. And I think this is about as deep as I will ever go, being a shallow reefing channel. Um, some people might say it's not shallow, but for me, you know, I would consider this to be about the upper limits of how shallow it would be just because the width front to back is much wide, much larger than it is up and down in the height dimension. So this is a special edition. One of the other things I love about my tank is the height of the stand at 36 inches. My son loves looking at the tank. Let's see if we can swing it over and take a peek at him. Yes, those are the fish though. You're touching the Ganyapura, aren't you buddy? So. I love sharing this tank with my son. It is a huge window into the ocean for him. He has to get up on the step stool and he just kind of fits perfectly right at eye level with all the fish. And he is staring intently at them. He doesn't even want to watch Bluey. Is that cool, huh? You think it's pretty cool, Daniel? Daniel, say yes, say yes. You're gonna be shy, okay. Well, that's it. One of the things I love about the tank. Plus, I'm a short dude, so when I stand next to the tank, it's not too overbearing. I do still have to have a step stool, but right here, it's right there in reach. I can get most of the corals on the top. If I need to get to the sand bed, well, I got grabbers, or I need to get on a step stool. But everything for me is completely accessible with this tank and that was a huge thing for me and that's one of the reasons why I love this tank. I went as big as I could with getting the most accessibility that I could with the best bang for the buck with the most versatility. It's kind of a win-win but I talked about all the good things. Let's talk about some of the bad things. All right one of the things I really hate about this tank is see this little piece right here that expanded PVC foam board? Well it's also down in here. You can't see it, and I'm not ripping any of this up because it's never coming up again. But underneath this pond liner, they had that board down here. Now, with that board being down there, there was nothing else and it was very loosely fitting, which means if you have like an accident or something spills in the sump, it goes right on your floor. It is absolutely horrible and terrifying. I have had multiple accidents in this sump and if I did not do my pond liner addition, I would be divorced. Seriously, there have been so much crap on this floor and this carpet, my wife would have murdered me. So I really, really hate the bottom of this tank. Get pond liner. If you ever get any tank like this and it doesn't have like a, a tray or something at the bottom, get it. You will save yourself tons of time and headache. Do it. Trust me, there are scratches right here and I'm trying to get them, but I can't get them on video for some reason, probably because I don't have a high enough video quality. But one of the things I hate the most about this tank is it's easily scratched. I got two scratches here, 
one scratch there. Oh, maybe the, can you see that? Scratch going down that way, hopefully. Scratch there, scratch here, scratch, one of them's going that way. And I got a little wave pattern of a scratch here and you can't see it on video, but it's driving me nuts, some of these little scratches. This ultra clear glass does have its detriments. I think that it scratches a little bit easier. I've been super careful. I've been only using flipper magnets and even making sure that nothing gets in between, you know, the flipper underside and the glass and it still finds a way to scratch. I have no idea why, but this tank scratches pretty easily. I think if I had to compare it to my deep blue, my deep blue glass, it was clear glass. It wasn't this ultra clear glass, but it didn't scratch as easy. All right, so I already told you how great the deal was for the price initially. Well, I also told you what the price is now, 5,060 bucks. Uh, is this tank worth $5,060? Grand, it is on sale and you're gonna be in the $4,000 range. Yeah, I think it would be, you know, market value would be about 4,000-ish on this tank. 42, 4,400 would be about the most I'd spend on it. Um, Man, at this size though, I would just get a custom job from glass cages um, because with the price for this, this tank is not made in America. That is one of my big takeaways. I thought, oh yeah, Interbay Marine, it's an American company. Nope, everything came shipped from Xinjiang somewhere, China, and I had to peel off a bunch of Chinese stickers and protective covers, which kind of hurts when you're paying this much for this type of aquarium. Okay. Another thing I really dislike about this Stand, is the stand in that it's super super thin i mean this whole stand weighs way less than 100 or 100 pounds when you are picking up i can pick it up myself and it kind of shifted around a lot when i opened it up and was moving it around but i don't know if you can see inside here i mean we're talking millimeters thick i mean i don't know if it's like seven or millimeters thick or what but i mean for this size tank, I don't think that the stand is as strong as I would like for it to be. I'm sure some engineer is gonna comment and say, well, Interbay Marine, blah, 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 and this is the tensile strength of aluminum and everything, and blah, 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 and the shape. I get it. For me, for a hobbyist who's not very well informed about structural supports and integrity and everything like that, stand seems pretty weak. 100 gallon tank, oh, for sure, this is totally fine. 200 gallon tank where you know you got a t literally a ton of weight and i had to support the floors and the stand i can move by myself really and it's like less than 100 pounds i'd have to figure out exactly how much it is i'll throw it in this description how much it weighs but this the stand does not weigh much at all so i think it'll be fine for longevity but i like it to be a little bit beefier that's just me especially when you're spending that money and the number one thing that I hate about this tank or dislike is this imperfection right there. Can you guys see it? Yes. So I complained about the um, imperfection to uh, Innovate Marine. They sent me like that auto top off. Yes, that $200, uh, $200 15 gallon Innovate Marine hydrofill top off. Now this right there is actually very odd to look at. Now you might say, oh, it's just coralline algae. No, I can I'll rub my scraper over and you'll see exactly what happens. All right, time to scrape this puppy. Oh wait, you can't really scrape it. Why can't you scrape it? Why is it still there? Oh, because it's actually like a small imperfection where it's indented into the tank. All right, that's about as good as I can get it. So with that being said, it's actually slightly indented and I'm kind of worried about it, but I don't think I'm as worried as I could be if it was lower in the tank when it's this high there's not as much water pressure plus the seal and everything and the you're abrasing I think I'll be fine but that little imperfection is almost like someone superheated the glass in that one particular spot and kind of warped it and melted it now for me it's on the side it's in the back oh don't freak out on my camera there we go so you really can't tell from a distance even here you can probably barely see it on there but if I zoom in right there, you're gonna be able to see it. And that, to me, shouldn't have passed quality control. They should have found that. But I don't know, I guess what can you expect from something made in China and not America? 
I know if that was found at uh, glass cages, they would have put that on a different pallet. They would have said, hey, we're gonna sell this at a discount for the cost of the glass, and they would have made a new one. But, you know, this is what happened with my tank. So guys, if you're asking me, do I love my tank or do I hate my tank? I would say I love it. And everyone always picks out the flaws in their tank after they've had it for a while. For me, this tank was a thousand percent worth it. I do not regret this decision at all to go with Innova Marine. Do I wish things would be a little different? Yes, but that's why I'm doing this video to critique. So if any of you guys have any you know, troubles or any of these are deal breakers for you, I mean, hopefully this lets you know if you should buy this tank. I think if you want this tank, especially when this tank is on sale, go buy it right now. If the tank is not on sale and it's $5,000, Dude, hold off and wait. Innovative Marine does sales all the time and their sales are usually like weeks to months long. So what I would do would be to buy this tank if you really want it. Full disclosure, I am not sponsored by Innovative Marine or anyone. I am completely independent. Yes, I should have actually named myself Daddy Reefing because this little guy is photobombing. Daniel, say hi. No? Okay. So. I am not sponsored by anyone, but I have had an Avia Marine 40 gallon that I had and I liked it. The dimensions were a little uh, for me and I didn't care for the dimensions. I've also had an Avia Marine 10 gallon, which I still have. It's actually outside in the um, garage right now. And I've also had this Avia Marine 200 gallon. I've also had, you know, those Aquion 20 and 10 gallons, 29 gallons. I've had a JBJ BioCube and I've had a deep blue. Honestly, I love all the tanks. My favorite has to be this 200 gallon just because of the size, the dimensions, the rim to it, being an external overflow, having all that there. But I've loved every tank. I mean, every tank has its place. You just have to decide for yourself which tank best suits your lifestyle. Obviously, a 200 gallon innovative marine tank is not gonna be, you know, what you should buy if you are in a uh, let's say an apartment go ahead go buy their 25 gallon shallow reef go buy a jbj biocube with a lid on it anything that fits your lifestyle this fits mine and i'd recommend you guys get the biggest tank you can in the area that you have designated for a reef tank and you won't be disappointed in it so guys that's all i got for you this time if you like what you see here and you want to see more click the subscribe button Give me a comment, give me a like, let me know if you like this video and if you like my little kids photobombing everything. Yes, goodbye!